Hey guys, this is Eric Wanginer with Wanginer Racing. Today's video is about a really quick one, and this is about just doing a little bit of work to the AFR 235 heads. So what this is, the customer brought this head in. Uh, initially, he wanted me to do the full-on port job, but he, he's limited on time. So he said, you know, what can you do? Just get them done real quick. That will kind of pick them up. And I said, I, I think I do some bull work, short side work, and it'll pick up pretty good. And I'm going to show you that today. I also did the valve job, of course. Now, he had a little boo-boo. Um, that's all that's left, but it's actually huge chunks for here. And they got took off of the mill. So it's milled 17,000, so that makes a part, may play a part in these numbers too. Um, so I milled at 17,000, did a 50 degree intake valve job and 50 degree exhaust from the factory, the 45. This is all that's been done. So I made the bowl bigger and that's why I broke through on the bolt hole right there. And the throat bigger and I widened the short side and laid it back more. This is about all you can get. On the exhaust side, all I did was blend in the exhaust, I had the valve job. So made it the throat size and blended it in. That's it. Literally, that's all. So there you go. The valves got refaced because they're now 50. So that did get changed too. Those are new ones, by the way. And this is what you get. So how, what it, how did it do? In case you're wondering how much bigger it went, just a few percent. A couple of notes in case you try doing this on your own. I, I would say I recommend you not do it on your own, by the way, um, because you really need to know what you're doing, otherwise you're going to screw this head up. But there's not much material here, so even though it looks like it's a lot removed, not really. Very, 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 very little, because there's just not a lot of material between the two. If you go hogging it out real heavy, you'll end up, it might be fine, but worst case, you'll have a crack through here. Not good. So there you go on that. Be aware. I did not touch, someone's gonna say, why didn't you touch the push rod pinch? Uh, the push rod pinch is right here. The reason why is I'd already been to AFR and the distance between here and the inside of that port is 35 thousandths. So if you go grinding on that, you're gonna break through. Also, he wanted this done quick so you get what you get. And the full job, I would have gone in through here where I'm porting this way and widen it out bigger over the short side and make it all blend together. It would have been better by a few CFM for sure. But anyway, let's see what it does. This is its numbers now. This is from the Sanyas bench, the more, I would say the more honest bench. 4155 bore, 400 number, 261. That's fantastic. 600 is 315, and it peaked at right at eight, at 329, then it backs up slightly. Pretty much just holding. And the reason why it's doing that is because if I was to do in the full port job and I open this part up right through here on the port, it won't back up and it'll keep flowing. So this would have gone higher, would have gone, this probably would have gone 330, 333, 336. That's just how it is. So for the amount of work and what's been done, not bad for those. The exhaust side, even though it's 50 degree, it's really, it makes it flow less at these two always, which to me is fine because that's better for version. 191 at four, 230 at six, and 243 peak. Now these are without an exhaust pipe attached to. Now some of you are like, well that's great and all, but what did it start off with? I didn't flow this head out of the box because it was damaged, but I have another one that I did. So let me show you what the stock flow numbers in the head typically go. I bump it the wrong way. I'm trying to get my pin out again. Wait, give me just a sec. Sorry about that. Okay, here we go. These are the stock numbers, the last set I done. I would ignore the exhaust because that's a spread port, although it, I would say it's supposed to be better than stock, but then there's standard port. So this is the standard exhaust port. That's a spread ex exhaust port. Typically, these spreads flow more. Anyway, if we look at this, this is what it was stock. So yeah, it did lose it one, don't care. Gain at two, gain three, look at this, 254 to a 261. Then at six, it went from a 312 to a 315. Not a huge gain, but still a gain. And at eight, it went from a 321 to a 329. And you can tell it's about 10 CFM over majority. The exhaust, it's better everywhere, but it's really hard to judge because that's a spread port. Although that's pretty good, really good. So there's what it is now. Now, in case you're wondering, well, that's great and all, that's on the Sanyas bench. What did it actually do on the Superflow? These are the Superflow numbers. These are make me feel happy. And they're still really good. 
almost 270 at four. Uh, see what I mean? That bench, the Superflow typically reads about anywhere from between five and eight CFM higher, which you can kind of tell. 268, and then at six, 323, and 340. But do notice how it holds here. The Superflow, because it's so slow to react as far as the vacuum under spooling up, it won't catch the port backing up. In other words, like on the Sanyas, because it, as soon as the valve opens, it's already at 28 inches. So it's gonna cause it to go in chaos. In other words, if you gradually open the valve, if the velocity's on the verge of um, jumping the short side, you won't see it. But if you open it real fast, it'll accelerate extremely, extremely quickly and it'll look, jump the short side and it'll show. The Superflow, since it takes, I mean, I can open it at the same speed, but it won't ramp up its vacuum on that port like the Sanyaz does. The Sanyaz would just whoop and it's there. The Superflow is like and finally gets there. So because of that, the port usually be, looks more stable than it actually is. Anyway, difference between the benches. So there's your little thing. Just something to share with you guys. It's still two 125 valve and one 600. Much quicker to do. So if you want this done, this can be done probably within two and a half months. If you want the full port job, it's much, 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 much longer because that line is long. All right, you guys take care.